Subitsa, stay or go? I'm going to say stay. And I know that you're going to try and bring loads of stats. And the stats aren't great, right? Okay. Admittedly. He's not been an assist machine. And he's not been a goal mm-hmm. machine. Uh, and I know his past completions, not great. But I think this is the ultimate eye test player. And I think partially one of the reasons why we've, uh, we're not going to see great stats on him is because he's kind of been shoved in to fill holes wherever they've needed. And I, I tweeted about this the other day and, and, and people came for me with a series. Mm. The, 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 the reply, which I'm guessing is what the kids call now for like average was he's mid, right? <laughs> and standards, yeah. that was all the replies. And I understand what you're saying. I'm not making a case here that Marcel Sabitza is Manchester United's answer and we keep him and we're going to win the league next year. I'm saying you cannot build a good squad without players like that, that can happily go fill in. He, he, he would play 30 games a season for United mm. without maybe making three consecutive in the same position as a starter. And I think that is the kind of player... For what cost? I don't think he'd be much cost. And I know this is a bit, this is a, a, a legitimate situation where we don't know what budget we've got. But I think whatever he would cost in the 15 to 20 million kind of range, which is what I believe he would probably be, mm. I think he would be well worth us bringing in. He is a player, when I look at him, he does the right things. He seems to make good decisions with the ball. I don't look at him and go, what, what is he on? He's quite aggressive. He's a bit of a ratter. He looks like he's got a bit of quality about him and he can fill in probably four or five different positions, effectively giving us the depth that we absolutely don't have. I'm on the side of goal. I was a little bit on the fence for a large part of the early days, but I think going close to the transfer transfer window, not being as sure about what our summer situation is going to be with the ownership and budget and fees and looking at the type of player that I'm pretty sure he is now, I'm not sure if there's a huge necessity to keep him for 20 million. I see the kind of side of it where people think he's not great on McTominay and he's not great on Fred. So can you see them go the other way and then keep him as a possibility? But So let's put that out there. Is he better than McTominay and Fred? I, I think he is. I think he provides a little bit of a more of an it factor than them two players. What I've I seen, would, I what, would argue that it's not a thing. He is better yes, than McTominay. He's, yes, but with Sabitzer... I think his best position is where Bruno plays. Because when he plays there, one thing I will give him, he is a goal threat whenever he plays there. I feel like he's got a great strike. He can obviously finish. He seems to have a little, he seems to have a bit of a good nose for arriving in the box at the right time. He makes third man runs. So he's got all those attributes, but his pass completion and his ball retention isn't amazing. And some people will say Bruno's is similar, but Bruno's a lot more creative. Whereas Sabitz is the type where his pass completion is not great, but his chance creation isn't either. He's more of a, he's not, he's definitely not someone that you'd be comfortable playing in a midfield pivot, especially the way that Ten Hag likes to play football in a way it's systematically. I think he's someone that plays a 10. Or ever. Because again, he's up against McTominay. He can, who I don't he can, co- he can come in and, he can come in and do a job. But personally, I'm looking at is thinking the 20 million you'll spend on him, can that be filtered to? somewhere else for a bigger need rather than someone that will just fill the squad. I've got nothing personally against the bits, but looking at the way we are going to look in the summer, financially, ownership, our needs, I think I'm more on the side of we can do better than Sabitza. And even though 20 million doesn't seem like a bit of a heavy cost, it depends on the production you're going to get. As I said, we bought him not necessarily as a utility player. I think we bought him to be someone that will replace McTominay and Fred as someone in the midfield pivot. Mm. But he's all, he's already proven that that's not his best position. It seems like he's much better as a 10 where he's, a, he's able to make those runs and he can get advanced to the ball. Because when he has played in a midfield pivot, he's been playing relatively high as, anyway. I think that's what he kind of does instinctively. So personally, I'm more on the side of goal because I think there's better out there where you can fill the money you'd spend on him and probably get a better player that can actually do his job, but also challenge for a starting role at a better level. This was a big argument that people brought up, which was uh, about Enzo Luffy. He's 20 million, and I don't know if he is 20 nah, million. more than that. For starters. Yeah. So you don't know that he's 20 million for starters. Like, like we probably don't know for sure that Spitz is 20 million. Uh, and they're like, he's younger. All right. 
younger is a thing, and I think that midfield is coming to the boil around about the same time. All of them are very, very similar. They always they was all at school together, put it that way. And I think bringing in someone of a younger profile would be a good idea. But there's a couple of things here. I think he's got a great attitude. I think he's fit the team sort of mentality and culture really well. And I think that's a massive thing. You can go and buy someone who isn't is not a fit for the culture. And even we, you know, we can do all the scouting that we want in the world where we look at players and we go, wow, he's a good player. But we don't know if they're a cultural fit for the, the team. And I think that's so low risk to keep hold of him. Yes, that money could be allocated elsewhere. We have no idea whether we're going to be, you know, going bananas on transfer this year or we, we might have to really cut our cloth accordingly. I think if you cut your cloth accordingly, he would be more of a luxury buy than a necessity. But I, I think that if it's a case of keep him or let him go, I definitely line up on the side of keep him. As that, with the caveat of him being the backup to whatever we've already got. If United do get rid of McTominay and Fred, with the money that you would get for them to, I'd be all for keeping Sibitzo. But the likelihood of that actually happening isn't that huge. And on the basis of what I've seen so far, he's not someone that stands out to me as someone we necessarily need to keep, in my personal opinion. We have been kind of crying out for a player that can ease the workload on Bruno Fernandes because he plays week in, week out. He's never injured. He's Iron Man. Mm. And Sibitz just seems to be someone that can actually do that role. We thought it'd be Ericsson. Ericsson's actually been someone that's played deeper. And Sibitz, who we thought he played deep, has actually played higher. So it's been interesting to see that dynamic work out. Do you think Sibitz but has done more than Donny van der Beek? He has done more than Donny van der Beek. I will say that for sure. Part of me does look at Sibitz and thinks he'll be even more effective when we get a, a better number eight behind him. Because nine yeah, nine, cause I think if in a team where we have a lot more control of games, um, we're a lot more ruthless in terms of the way we go forward and we're a lot more incisive and we create more opportunities and better opportunities. I can see Sabitza being a type of player that will sneakily get you eight to 10 goals in a season because he seems to have that knack for arriving in the box and being a goal threat. He's he's a great striker of the ball, as I said. Isn't that but, what we absolutely need? But nah, Spreading the goals out. But I'm more looking at it from a logical perspective of um, finances and the summer and what's out there because... Even though United don't necessarily work that way, in the scouting department, in the world of football, there's a lot of talent out there for around the same price as 20 million that you could even get that's better and younger than Sabitzer that can probably do a sim similar job. Still a gamble though. Everything always is. Let us know. Are you lining up on the side of keep him or would you let him go? Uh, obviously with those caveats that we said because I think... Uh, I don't think anyone's sitting there making the case that he should be uh, United's big money signing this <laughs> summer. But you never know. Some people just mm. make shit up, don't they? Anyway, cheers. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.